Uh, hello friends, my name is Sandy Samuel and I am the Guild ICT Minister of Macquarie University Business School. Now I have decided to come up with short video tutorials that are going to help students do things on their own. You can just follow along on the video and you're actually able to do something which you thought you can never do on your own. So I have decided to come up with the videos to create content on different aspects and on different systems. These videos are going to be helping out uh, in uh, uh, those students who are doing programming. If you have issues with Excel, I'm going to be having series and series series of uh, helpful tutorials uh, getting back to the point this tutorial is aimed at helping students to uh, generate a reference number as we wait to begin yet another fruitful semester so let's get into it what is aims aims is a new academic information management system that was uh, if you have been following news that was a directive from the government of uganda that all public universities should start using the systems with immediate effect uh, this is being monitored and managed by the ministry of ict and national guidance I, according to their website it was one of the 28 winners much as there are some shortcomings of the system now uh, we we can we can see that aims is an integrated education management system that automates all the business processes by managing admins admissions billing and payments programs and curriculum payments human resource and other aspects of education the system is integrated and allows for data sharing uh, with other applications to run their processes based on the information needed to perform the functions uh, uniform to all other data forms. AIMS targets market universities, uh, tertiary institutions, primary and secondary schools. So this is the level where the government wants to take it, but let's get back to the point. Now to, go to get on to your AIMS portal, specifically if you are a MOOB student, all you need to do is a web browser, and um, to make sure that you have internet so it, it, your web browser can be on your phone on your laptop on your ipad or anything smart tvs or anything that have browsers and uh, can access internet so you open any browser after opening a browser you go to a new tab and after uh, opening a new tab you put in this address which is student.mobs.se.ug you hit enter or you press on go moment you hit enter it will load a page that is similar to this on this login page there is where you insert your user id your user id is your registration number or your student number i remember when we are enrolling into semester one we signed up and created our accounts on the system or rather activated and enrolled onto the system so we already have our registration number and uh our password for this case in this case i'm going to use the registration number for our guild president his excellence intended julius and uh his password uh then you after putting in your password then you click on login so you log in onto the portal and when you log on to the portal it will bring so many other things here and uh, we see the different modules of my invoices my transactions self-registration blah blah i'll be doing other tutorials to cater for this specifically but now i'm interested in you being able to generate a reference number so that you can make your payments as we begin the semester so um we can see that the invoices for this upcoming semester has not been allocated in the system simply because before you get billed the system has to promote you to another semester and to do that they need to uh they need to to to, to base on um uh, they need to base on on on, on your results for the previous semester and having after I had a discussion today with someone from the registrar's office I said they're still having a discussion whether to put the results on the system where we shall be able to see them here or maybe they should pin them up and then promote us so we are able to see the fee structure or our invoice here right now as business students I believe we all understand what the word invoice means properly so now let's get to the actual deal of the tutorial to generate a reference number you simply log in look out for this button which is usually next to your profile picture it is a yellowish button and when you click on it it usually brings other options there is uh, i want to pay all my pending invoices i want to pay part of my invoices and i would like to deposit on my account 
I would like to deposit my account to be able to pay for future invoices. Now, this is the only option available right now, like I have explained, because we have not yet begun another semester. In other words, we are paying for the future, we are paying for the invoices that are going to be billed as when semester begins. And I talked to the people who are relevant and they said they are working on it. So when it brings this option, the thing you do, you just click on it. And when it, you click on it, it will bring you a a text box where you're supposed to put in the amount of money you want this is more like you're filling in the physical f uh, bank slips you used to fill in before instead of writing the money on the amount of uh, on the paper we used to write now this time around you are supposed to write uh, or type in rather the amount onto the system let's say uh this is the president maybe he wants to pay uh something of that sort uh when when you're done putting in the amount you want to pay and then you have to click on the button of generate reference number and don't worry you can generate a reference number for as many number of times as you want so a reference number is a 13 digit alphanumeric di uh, uh, paragraph or sentence or but it's a th it's a, an alphanumeric 13 digit number that you take to the bank so the moment you go to the bank and you tell them i want to make payments they'll ask you for a reference number and this is the reference number that we need here so it will be zip pay and this is the reference number that you carry along with the money of course you have said you want to pay and you take to the bank as we can see now the moment you are done later on when they put in the invoice you'll be able to allocate that money to that particular invoice i will later on show you how to do that because i'm going to be doing quite a number of tutorials but we can see here our guild president has a uh, uh, he has money that he has paid in advance on his account he has actually paid half of his money he's supposed to pay in the entire coming semester so uh under my transaction when you're done paying actually you can be able to see where that transaction was actually made from and according to our details here we can see allocations we can see that uh, it was made in Stanbic bank somewhere in ginger and on such a date of uh, uh let me see that date it was a monday 14th uh january uh, at 1 p.m yeah so um all other details are there but basically this is what the tutorial was about and uh, we i want to make sure i bridge the gap so that we are all we are acquainted with the systems around moves thank you so much for watching stay tuned in and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more other tutorials thank you so much